Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Uh, forgot what we did. What was the last thing we did? Um, I think we're going to Sanctuary. Oh! Last thing we did was the Asari bit. Okay. Go be normal people kidding. Children, maybe I only lost my dad. It's kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. I'm raising the volume a little bit. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Oof. Uh, I wonder why my video... My voice is technically higher. There we go. Maybe because I actually talk on Discord. I'm more of a droll in uh, regular conversation. Or I guess here. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's see who's around. I got I got to learn to project. There's the art. Let's see. Maybe later. You good, Liara? I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard Cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. Thanks for coming by. A pleasure to see you.
Maybe we could talk later. Let's see what it's around to get. Because I don't know if I picked up everything yet. <clears throat> I guess, yeah. I gotta project my voice. See anything here? I found something. Lion Street. Signal confirmed. Just gotta put that. Oh, I am so screwed. Oh. Evasion successful. I made it out. Yeah, get out. Reapers eluded. So we got the hourglass nebula, nebula, and every time I go here, there's just nothing there. Not the hourglass, the, the one I was at, holy shit. than light jump successful. I found 
smell something. Back it the hell up. Ah. Evasion successful. Signal confirmed. Ah! Huh? Reapers eluded. Now let's go investigate the uh the colony. Sanctuary Sanctuary Who are we taking here? E and I don't think I've taken James in a while. So, what the hell do we know about this place? Edie, the sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. We don't leave until we're one step closer to Cerberus. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Me. 
stage your firefight here, Commander. Yeah. But who is Yes, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Uh, that doesn't look like Shepard's. Well, that does. A harvester, Shepard. I saw it. Phantom. Quick back. And looks like the Reapers were gunning for him. About time they started killing each other. security cam footage people getting sorted out that's a big crowd come on let's keep looking people they brought. For your safety, communication devices are strictly forbidden. Got some bodies. Casualties, both sides. An 
observation deck. Looks like a dead end. We need an exit. Keep looking. Shepard, that's Miranda. This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. What the hell? What's going on here? We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Man, this is gonna get ugly. Reaper tech, come on. Yeah, I felt like something should have been there. Whoa, this looks important. Power's out. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What, 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 what am I seeing here? Th those are the refugees. The Reapers, what, what are they doing? They're killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Well, now we know where all the colonists went. Doesn't make sense. There must be more to it. The elusive man would not make a move without an assured benefit. Confirmed. Then suitable materials for your to recycle. entrance as well. Madre, she's gonna get blindsided. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move.
more where they came from. All right, so considering I think that's the right way to go, let's see what's in here. did to these people it's sick yeah it is dr nuri's legacy work with subject paul grayson provided a key element to our work here using the addictive drug red sand to break down the will was inspired but proved unreliable for general application we've proven that adrenaline and its cross species equivalents is most effective and efficient I wonder if that's a bug or they're just supposed Figure to be there. How indoctrination... <clears throat> Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted the place shut down. Maybe we'll get some answers. It doesn't make sense. Not Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? It's working, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The 
data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? Bait and switch. Can't believe it. I suggest tracking the shipment she mentioned. It could lead to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Hey, the locust! How heavy are you? Oh, you're very heavy. Just checking to see if uh, I can pick up anything else. Control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Did I hear that right? This guy knows how to control Reaper troops? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They ascertained what the Cerberus' plan was. Unfortunate news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander. There's more. Take a look. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing. However, turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace.
Approach the perimeter. way out. <clears throat> this will get us closer to the tower. I don't trust this thing. This way. It's those big bastards. All these husks. Reminds me of Mega Man X, you know, when you're hearing zero, zero fight. A commander uh, what you call it? Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Bio. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. 
I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right, take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. With everything at stake, you come in here alone? That was foolish. Ariana was in danger. You saw what my father was capable of. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? Research databases have been purged, but security systems are intact, including Cerberus shipping manifests. No direct links, but it's a good start. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. OK. I got to follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by my Cortez, we need to pick up Henry at the tower. Wilson. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful intel, Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Oh, looks like the Crucible's done.
I like the flavor text of those. What kind of soldier looks at a camp that turns people into husks and goes, Yeah, I want to help with that. The same guy that lets Cerberus stick Reaper tech into his skull. Those bastards aren't human anymore. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when their base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. The tally's in the lounge. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? Cerberus was trying to control Reaper forces. Yeah, which is crazy. Who would ever... And they succeeded. Sure, but that doesn't make it right. No. But if you can tell yourself that those people were gonna die anyway... Well, whatever. I'm just glad you shut that place down. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Have fun. What is it now? News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not... Easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. Not everyone resists with firebombs and guns. Especially if they don't have them. But this was not a statistically insignificant number. Ninety percent refused to report their fellow prisoners. Indoctrination should have reduced the number of rebels to nearly zero. Maybe word got out how indoctrination worked, and they made a decision. I see. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. I would like a moment to myself, Shepard. I am examining human literature. Commander. Yes. The AI has become human. Are you drunk again? Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, 
triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. <laughs> but I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah me. You sound like a Vorja. <laughs> a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father. I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job. You genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kill us a lie. I forget if uh, there's an interview again. Alright, it doesn't look like it. Let's go to the Citadel, hang out with Caden, see what's up. And then go to the Elusive Man. There's where he said he was going to be. All right, so it's probably just the actual still the actual citadel. Okay. Looks like we missed it. Oh, 
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. There's a cross the galaxy. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready, except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. She is cut. Shepard, we've arrived. The crew is waiting. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet. All forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? 
This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? It won't be a problem, Commander. Shepard, I am ready. You're taking Edie into Cerberus headquarters? I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Be ready to take us in. Roger that. Take it. Shepard, Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level.
Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they figured out what we're trying. They're not stopping us now! I love this gun. Overriding safety. The fighter should now launch before the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Launching fighter. Nice work. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Let's move. Maybe we can catch them before they regroup. Alright, right, give me a minute. I need the restroom.
and then hit mute. But yeah, I'm back. Just let me sit down. Everyone's on. Get over. I muted myself instead. Can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. Let me know when you're through. I am through. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. That smoke was the worst thing they could have done. They're getting a lot of the people killed trying to stop us. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. It was that bad. I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead. Looks like. What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or. How do you feel? No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took them a little longer to slap me back into fighting shape. I'm still me. And this, it doesn't change anything. Understood, Commander. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. Yeah. 
Watching Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwaz and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? <clears throat> Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Nice turret. Here's mine. Shot too much. Yeah, well, I'm sure you're happy with this with this thing. I will bypass the lock. If you are interested, the console nearby is still functional. Doctor, 
Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reef Attack, well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. It shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time, we'll ensure it stays loyal. <laughs> you never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't Torfin Shepard. I'm not risking you unless I have to. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. It's like that was a joke. Cerberus a wake-up call. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to her beliefs. She's wrong, but I can respect her decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Odina is amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken her. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of her, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The hey, baby. Protein VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few. Ends. Like Shepard. 
She should have died on Thessia. Should I finish her? I'd rather you avoid killing Shepard for now. If possible. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Chicago came in here. Proto Reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I guess Cerberus recovered it from the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The head is largely intact. I believe they are using it for high level computing operations. Okay. More Cerberus forces on route. Looks like they're making their last. Yeah, I was like, I should be good. I can hit the damn thing. Fighting through this thing makes my skin crawl. It's like we're bugs crawling across a sleeping giant. You tried to kill me last time. I can watch all at once. Protein via.
This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. to locate the Prothean B.I. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. What is the Catalyst, and how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping you. <laughs> when did you start? Do you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. <laughs> You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together we would already have the Crucible and the Cat. You wouldn't listen. You're still not listening. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done, and so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online, security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycles and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. If you told me sooner, we could have planned for this. It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retain control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper-controlled space. Moved? To where? 
to the system you refer to as Sol. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. We were gonna face the Reaper's head on eventually. It doesn't really matter where it happens. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs... Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Too late to stop what's coming! Maybe, maybe not! Do a flip. Son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating. I'll stop them. Barely. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. 
We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Yeah, Kylan killed our lover. Ready whenever you are, Commander. Specialist trainer. I'm all right, really. I'm as surprised about it as you are, but I'm all right. Stay sharp and get the job done. Today we take back Earth. Roger that, Commander. Commander? See where everyone has to stay now. Commander. Commander. As you were. Yes, ma'am. Commander. The Normandy is ready, Shepard. All systems are armed, all ammunitions loaded, all reloads have been manufactured. Thruster fuel is at maximum. Cyber warfare suites have evolved in ways that would be computationally impossible to predict. I have also kissed Joker for luck. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the... Information network terminal. How you holding up, Liara? Nervous. Frightened. Anxious to go. But glad I'm here. And I'm ready whenever you're ready, Shepard. In fact, I think I've checked my equipment three times. Seven times, Dr. Tassoni. Stop me if I try for eight. We can do this, Shepard. Oh. oh! We were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye, and, well... Uh, I uh, think one of my mandibles got hooked on her helmet. It might have caused a rupture, so I, I asked him to check. Well, you, you know, because of infection risks, didn't want to jeopardize the mission. So... Yeah. I understand. I'm really happy for you. Both of you. Thanks, Shepard. Appreciate it. Guess it helps to have something to come back to. What do you mean to come back to? This is just a fling, Bakarian. I'm using you for your body. You're so mean. 
and I'm okay with that. <sighs> okay, just ignoring that. See who else is here. The eyes are in the starboard. Hey, Shepard. That was rough. Glad everyone got out of there. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. familiar I have been studying this ship its crew there was a Normandy before this one you died in an attack something like that but then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers maybe you and I have a thing or two in common but you have something else the reasons you fight are still alive the friendships of the people around you are they the reason you wish to continue living My crew has become my family. We've stared death in the face more times than I can count. Things like that bind people together in ways I can't really explain. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone. But so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? Reopening old wounds, especially big ones, isn't gonna help. Perhaps you are right. There were others. Soldiers who served under me, like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let all ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. I am prepared for whatever lies ahead, Commander. The Reapers have haunted the galaxy long enough. It is time to end the nightmare. The last Prothean awaits your command. Normandy is ready to go, Commander. Give the word and we'll get you to Earth. And Commander... Good luck with the assault. It's been wish I was such an honor to see you. No, you don't. I've seen you shoot. Likewise, Gabby. Fine. Good luck. And I wish I could and shoot be better. Careful. Then okay. I wish I was too. Yes, ma'am. Take care, Shepard. You too, Donnelly. Got the two going off at the same time. Commander, the Normandy is as ready as she'll ever be. That goes double for my team. We're prepared for whatever hits us. And Commander, whatever happens today, it's been an honor and privilege to serve with you. The honor's been mine, Adams. Give them hell, ma'am. Breaking now, Alliance Marines uncover the worst Cerberus war crimes to date. Sanctuary, advertised as a safe haven on the planet Horizon, exposed as a secret Cerberus lab. 
brainwashing, lethal experiments, and reaper connections. The exclusive details next in the battle space. You all right? You all right? I'm a colony kid, Shepard. Beckenstein. It was right next door to the Citadel. Was? Was. <sighs> I'm sorry. The Reapers didn't even land on it to harvest. Just took a few shots from space. You know, because the Reapers hit industrial centers. And we have factories that make binoculars. Had factories. We're gonna beat them. Yeah. I got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. Yeah, and Esteban got to play hero with the damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. Sticking it to that bastard Kai Ling must have felt good. It certainly did. Just wish we'd have caught up to the elusive man before he could screw us over again. You and me both. Well, at least we get to head back to Earth. I've been asking for it. I just hope I'm going to make those Reapers pay for everything they've done. All right. Earth. Last mission. I forgot I was going to upgrade some stuff. Maybe try to procure some stuff. Yep. If I ever decide to come back to these, like maybe do a Paragon run for you guys, that's going to be like a year out, if that. Because it, it was fun playing these, but definitely takes a good while. Priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. 
Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We're ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans, alive and dead, to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. And I thought uniting every species in the galaxy was a challenge. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Whatever the cost. Where's the thermal scope? Again, thermal scope. So he can see. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. By everybody coming. Reporting. Turian fleet reporting. 
Asari fleet's reporting. Warrior fleets accounted for and ready. Geth fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. I mean, epic movie. But the Reapers are gonna start Fuck fucking command. people up. Engage the Reaper forces. Roger that. All fighters on me. Uh, they took out a tentacle. I wonder if they added the uh, the Leviathans to this scene. Commander. Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. Roger that, Commander. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. I'm sorry, Shepard. I know how you must feel. I barely even recognize it. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. How do we do that? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. 
You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. Right behind you, Shepard. <laughs> That camera's shaking though. I didn't know he was that close. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you.
We need to open fire. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. Come on, Garris, get up. Go! That sounds like Zaid. Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. I appreciate the trust. I think you've earned it. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base, but the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coase, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. You did what you had to, and now we're in a position to actually pull this off. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started, and Hammer better be ready for it. They'll do whatever it takes to win this. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Obi was the first one shot. Is that 
that Mako? Mako? Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. Soldiers get the job done no matter who's fighting next to them. Sure, they'll do their jobs, but they'll fight harder knowing you're here, knowing you're fighting beside them. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. I can find a way down without fucking dark it is. feel coming back to earth i was ready to fight ready to die if i had to but seeing everything like this let's do to the reapers what they did to us let's hurt them but stay focused don't go losing the fight before throwing your first punch i know i know you're right so i guess this is it no one more push one last fight not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You and I both know honor won't mean a damn thing if we don't win this. That's the truth. Whatever happens out there, you'll know what to do. You're a damn good Marine, Vega. That means a lot to me, ma'am. Good luck out there, Shepard. Hey, Caden. Hey, Shepard. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And biotics division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. We know the score. And I'm not afraid to die. But listen, I... There's... Things I want to say. And looking back, I, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? Scared? I've got these bastards in my sights, Caden. It's them that should be afraid of me. <laughs> You're right about that. So... Take care, Major. You too, Commander. Well... <laughs> I should find the rest of my squad. You know, 
I've never been to London. <laughs> yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Zaid Masani. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Almost thought you weren't gonna make it, Shepard. Glad I was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. Hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't stop it now, it gets worse. No kidding. Just doesn't feel like a real ground war when your opponents are taller than goddamn skyscrapers. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Steve Cortez. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, you made it. Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. It'll happen. I'm just glad I could play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't... It helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jack. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard? Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. Rodriguez actually tore that little shoulder head off one of those Batarian things. It was great. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. You too. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Kasumi Goto. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Hey, Shep. You ready down there? It depends on whether you've got the crucible good to go. Always ready. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Grunt. Certainly. I'll connect you now. About time you got here, Shepard. Didn't want to win this thing all by myself. Good to see you back in action, Grunt. Wouldn't miss it. Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Jacob Taylor. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Shepard, that you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like. My kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. You got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Yes, sir. Shepard out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Miranda Lawson. Certainly. I'll connect you now. Commander, hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard, I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change, but on our terms. We've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. 
I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. Listening to you, I can believe it. Good. And Miranda. Yes? Be careful. I promise. And you too, Shepard. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, ma'am. Thermal clips and grenades. I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supply. That's just Rex playing hard to get. Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Shepard. So I guess this is. Just like old times. Last chance we get to say that. I think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. I wouldn't know what to do with all my time. Neither would you. Sign autograph? <laughs> we haven't won yet. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but this thing goes sideways and we both end up there. Meet me at the bar. I'm buying. Shepard and Vicarian storming heaven. I guess there are worse ways this could end. But maybe some other day. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but this old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Deal.
how are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. What kind of gift? Do you remember when I first joined my consciousness to yours? I can show you some of my own memories. Asari exchange them sometimes, with their friends, or the people they respect. It can also be a way to say farewell. I'd be honored. Close your eyes. Brace eternity. Thank you for everything. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. Tear off one of your sleeves and... What's his condition? Like so much detail just put into like side stuff like that. Like you can skip it right away or you can go. Commander. Was it this bad in your time? Worse. I have been listening to the Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. I envy you. Really? Not much left out there. The future is still out there. It is something my people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. 
Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. We haven't won until we've crossed the finish line. In my cycle, we never even saw the finish line. But yours is out there. The end is in sight. You will become the avatar of this cycle. The exemplar of victory. Not just for humanity, or Turians, or Protheans, but for all life. Every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Well, no pressure when you put it that way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. I'll do whatever it takes. I didn't come this far to back down. A pity we did not know each other in my cycle. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. No offense, but I find that touching a Prothean gets a little too personal for my tastes. Yes, I've noticed others avoiding me. But I do want to thank you for all you've done, Javik. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. It has been a privilege. Shepard, you did it. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Oh, and Kara sent her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. But she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. Anyway, let's get to it. I meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet, too. That's okay. Duchanka's got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. Suck it up, Brithnesses! I don't remember Rex's dialogue. Uh, if you keep, basically if you kill Rex in one, the person leading Clan Ergnot in this one was like, like as payment we'll take that small piece of land you call Australia. I'm joking. Maybe. What about this thing? We could circle around and flood it with reinforcements. Unlikely. I spent three days in that city. Name me one place in this city that isn't. Almost time for the final push. Are you okay? I thought I'd be asking you that question. Shepard, I backed you when I was just a kid on our pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? You know, I really am. I spent months talking to the Council, to admirals, to politicians, all to get to this moment. No politics, no diplomacy. Just us and them, one last time. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. Why do you say it like that? Looking for a transfer? I was hoping for a promotion. I'm an admiral now. I did get you a homeworld. You did, didn't you? It's time I returned the favor. Shepard, I have a question. Is it a big or small one? It is important. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. They have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the Conduit at all? Because I owe them for Thessia. And everywhere else. Our chances of victory are less than assured. Are you afraid? 
probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Are you afraid? I do not understand the purpose of the question. There's no room for doubt anymore, Edie. You understand what we have to do or you don't. I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Good. Fight hard, but fight smart. We'll be depending on you. Understood. Shepard, there is something I want you to know. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jet was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat, no stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Booyah! Yes, sir! Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push through the beam. I'll give you a minute with your squad. Pick your team well. This war has brought you here today. It will define each of you. You may be a brother to someone, a daughter, a son, but today, you're a soldier. The Reapers gave you a purpose, and you accepted the challenge. You all chose to be here. Each of you chose to stand and fight. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less and you're already dead. Expect no mercy, show no mercy. You fight or you die. That was actually pretty inspirational. Like, for renegade actions. Uh, I'll take James. And tell, uh, not tell me, Liara.
Yeah, getting rid of the sniper rifle for uh, increased ability. That sounds like uh, Donnelly.
place to hide. They're making us work for it. Thermal scope is kind of kind of OP, though it helps because I can't see Jack in this this place. Keep shooting too much.
think so let's take him go straight. Hey, this guy eviscerated. Out. Commander, do you read me? Major, what's the situation? The beam's interfering with missile guidance. We can hit the destroyer, but we'll never make the precision strike we need to take it out. Damn it. Edie, can you read me? Yes, Commander. Any suggestions? I may be able to use the Normandy systems to enhance the missile's targeting capabilities. Excellent. I'll need you to open a link to the Normandy from the missile systems. On it. Hang in there, soldier. Heads up, we got more incoming! Shit, we better cover. 
We're on left flank. a little too much. You're not firing too much. down to two missiles, and we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer is being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. We're fighting our way to you. Hold on, Commander. Hold on. Goddess, more are coming? Hold on, everyone. We can do this. Let's do it. Here they come! I was trying to stop. Trying to vent this gun.
Oh. Beans up. Beans for hot fries. Thank you for the for the raid. Give me one second. Hey, how you doing? How was your stream? Were you playing Mass Effect again? You, you guys have literally caught the end of the game. I think this is literally the last fight. The rest is just a run up. League. How'd it go? You win? Oh, uh, win the majority, I mean. Because I know League's a bunch of matches. I don't know if you could hear me. Because balancing the audio is hell. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. And that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me That's good. <laughs> That's good to know, actually. Nice little cut scene. It's now or never, Admiral. We're going in. Acknowledge. I'll send the word. All ships. This is Admiral uh, Hackett. I'll send a shout out as soon as we get into the beam. The crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs. Everyone, this is it. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the beam. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. We'll be lucky to get a handful. We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Bad odds are better than no chance at all. The alternative is death. At least this gives us a chance. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. Shit. Harbinger. Come <laughs> on. 
Run! Okay. Normandy, do you copy? I need an E back right now. Come on. Apparently, James can take a hit. with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. You're in no condition to keep fighting. Get to the med bay. I... That's an order, Liara. Go! What's funny is, this playthrough says I slept with her. Because it still has... When you transfer from one to two, it's a little buggy. And apparently if you did a certain order of operations, it says you did things that you didn't and didn't do things that you did. One of them being I slept with her. Shit. Our armor is charred. I forgot about this. He's dead. Oh. Shit is going on up there. I was actually hoping to see the Leviathans here. Like, them at a cutscene of, like, them taking out a Reaper.
Shepard. Shepard. <sighs> You up here too? I followed you up. But we didn't come out in the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Corpses everywhere. You okay? Just gotta keep moving. It's dark. Human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. <sighs> Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? <clears throat> sure. They round them up on Earth and send the people up here to be processed. All right, so ah, that was my water bar. All right, let's get you a never mind that for a second. I shot out, and then. Get them. Get them. Get them. Which one is this? I don't have a weapon. What game was that? Hey, yeah, sometimes you just gotta throw hands. Okay, I get rid of that. Blood hunt battle royale. Ah! Interesting. Improvise, adapt. <laughs> but yeah, and if anyone's still here from uh, the raid, hello, my name is Guri. I'm a variety streamer with the emphasis on anime and RPG related games. Uh, yeah, that's my usual stick. Sometimes a little bit on the looter side, like Senran Kagura. I still need to do that. Uh, Senran Kagura has been on the back, back burner for far too long. I need to continue that. But yeah, so right now, obviously we're playing Mass Effect, and if you came in, uh, this is the ending. So if you don't want spoilers for 3, I understand. <laughs> but yeah. Also, I need to pee real quick.
Alright, I've returned. Where'd Mass Effect go? Hello? I hear it. There we go. Alright. Doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. I tried to shoot the keeper. <laughs> Get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. The build up from just the long walk. Anderson? Building up the suspense. What are we gonna find on the other side of this? How many have fallen? Our suit's Anderson. still charred. Shepard! I can't! I underestimated you, Shepard. What have you I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Why waste your time with us, if you can control the Reapers? Because I need you. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned that we were in the galaxy, there was pause in those words. There were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again. A thousandfold. But... <sighs> Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them. Or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. Maybe you're just so hungry for power that it's clouded your vision. No. No. It's not that simple. Isn't it? You're willing to give up anything for control. Yes. If not me, then who? Are you going to control the Reapers? There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with Yeah, homie, I don't think you look that good. Will allow me to control. And then what? I don't think you're the one in look control. At the power they wield. Look at what they can do. Ah. 
I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? Then open the arms, let the Crucible talk, and use it to end this. I... I will. Do it! I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... Indoctrinated. No. No. The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own me now. Yep. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Why doesn't it let me have that one? You're nothing more than a Reaper's plaything now. Now! You're the one who failed! So that's the first time he didn't let me do that, and I have max rep other than stuff that it forced me. That's interesting. So I'm probably not gonna get the true ending. There. Earth. I wish you could see it like I do. It's so perfect. This is it, everyone. The arms are opening. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. Yeah. Best seats in the house. Few 
seems like years since I had just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Mm -hmm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson. Just everybody. Shepard, Commander. I, uh, what do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crucible's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. Not sure how to... Commander! Like, do you mind I'm bleeding out here? The child that got blown away. Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. The solution to what? Overpopulation? Chaos. Basically... Thanos was right in this universe. Will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. What do you know about the Crucible? The device you refer to as the Crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the Relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? 
We believed the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life. To establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. <laughs> you said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence. But those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Basically because of the get. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. Damn. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. The defining characteristic of organic life is that we think for ourselves, make our own choices. You take that away, we might as well be machines just like you. You have choice more than you know. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Dago? Dago just walked in. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are part of synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. I made it this far. We'll destroy you without setting it off. Impossible. You are vastly outnumbered. You have sacrificed many of your resources just to reach this point. If you do not use the Crucible, the Reapers will not be stopped, and the cycle will continue. I don't believe your belief is not required. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So the elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can? You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. 
How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. So basically, like your Legion? connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. I didn't fight this war so I could give up everything I have. And I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but I would be forced to accept it. Not if I refuse to do it. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. There is little time left, but I will try. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what? Exactly. The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. No. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. Let's get this over with. Do what you must. Just asking for a choice. We'll go down the center. I think it's the most cannon. Whoa, what the heck is going on with that shadow? I wonder if Drew be still alive. Because I think that's who my target's going to be. If, uh, if they're still alive doing their charity event. I have to be sure to set Andromeda to download tonight. I like the sad montage. <laughs> you don't have to show me homeboy. Okay, only the second one hurt. Don't hit Joker that hard, you might break a bone. Joker, listen. We have to go. Damn it. Oh, I smell skunk outside. Ah! It burns. Ah! 
That's pungent. That means you're not using the bathroom anytime soon. Last time you did, you got sprayed. Talking to the dog. Blow his head off. I crave violence. Blowing up all the mass relays. They get hit. I like the shimmer on the leaves. The synthetic leaves. This is always my question at the end of this ending. How synthetic did they make him and how organic did they make her? Like, now that he's synthetic, is he basically more durable? Okay, it sounds wrong when I put it like that. But I mean, basically the Vrolic Strength Syndrome where he has like basically brittle bones. Is it... It's his bones tougher now because of it. And how organic is Edie now? Like, is she going to be able to age? A 
among other things now that I think about it that I won't say here. I am alive. Okay, this I've actually never seen All before. Us, synthetic and organic have been changed. The war is over, and the Reapers are helping to rebuild. Well, once they threatened us with extinction, they now bring us the collective knowledge of the cultures that came before. That's... Uh... As a galaxy, we can now live the lives we have wished for. Yeah, because originally it just ended on that planet. I never saw this. Jacob, Miranda, Jack. Did all your students die? Taking our me. first steps into a new and wonderful future. Is that Tally? Where organics and synthetics can coexist peacefully. Is that supposed to be uh with peace a across the galaxy and with unlimited access to knowledge? To recover the greatness that was lost. I have so many questions. And surpass it. We will reclaim our worlds and the stars. As the line between synthetic and organic disappears, we may transcend mortality itself. To reach a level of existence I cannot even imagine. And we will remember that this chance for a new life did not come without cost. I mean, my armor was burned the fuck off. So that's on Earth. Shepard. No matter how far we advance, we will remember the sacrifices of those who made it possible. And we will remember Shepard. Because of her. I am alive. And I am not alone. Yeah, this is all new to me. Oh, they fixed it up. Okay, immediately Lee, like, League's better than what I was mentioning before of the original endings, where it literally just stops at the crash of the planet for all the endings. And the only difference between them really is the three different colors. 
which they got roasted heavily for. Uh, I did see the, I, when I played through before, a second time, I actually did the ending where I walk away, and I saw the extra stuff of that one where, uh, it was kind of doing the comic book thing, but it was this Liara talking in her version of the beacon, saying that they were wiped out. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let the credits roll. I'm gonna grab a drink. I'm gonna try to get the crack the rack one. The skunk smell out of my room. But yeah, I usually let the credits roll because hey, the people on this one deserve credit. And actually, someone I know actually has credits in the game I played. I have to ask him what game it was again. But yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, let's see, cash Javik. Do I recognize him? Oh, that was just the... Yeah, you know what? That's actually another thing I have a problem about with this game that I kind of forgot. Like, I kind of just skimmed over, just left alone until now. Javik was DLC. Mind you, day one pre-order DLC. Like, that stuff is stupid and shady as hell. And I hated it. Like, because, how, most of all, my huge problem with it was how the fuck are you gonna have? DLC day one not to mention DLC of someone who's actually kind of critical to the story like all the other DLCs no 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 that's fine that's fine like you know 
They're, they're extra stories. They do build the world more. Yes. But Javik is literally like story critical. So much so that he's a squad mate. Like has his own like dialogue and missions pertaining to everybody else. Made day one. Like that. I have to admit that is the second scummiest thing I have seen EA ever do. If you want to know what was first, Star Wars Battlefront 2. When it first came out. They pivoted that one hard. Let's see, I don't remember any of these names. Hey, Quentin Flynn! I know he, him, he's Kolia. Also the voice of Raiden. And, uh, from Metal Gear Solid and Iruka Sensei from Naruto for English. I can't remember any other other roles off the top of my head, but I know I've seen them in a couple more. Okay, this was actually in the original as well. It was the forest, and then this. Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home. Because I remember this because of the finishing line. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Yeah, the, the tell me another story about the shepherd. So basically, this was them saying, like, yeah, we do plan to continue the universe. And then they dropped Andromeda, which was, according to a lot of people, very disappointing. But I'm going to have to judge it myself. It'll be my first playthrough of Andromeda. Oh. What up? I don't remember it coming directly to this. Okay, it started. That's where it starts. We'll save it there just in case we want to roll through the other other endings and save earlier. But yeah, all right. That actually went on a little bit longer than I expected. Not by much, but a little bit longer, which is a good thing. Content. I just zoom in and out of existence. But yeah. So. We're going to go ahead and call it for now. I do have a, a decent idea of who I want to raid. I got to make sure to download Andromeda. So let's just see if they're live. They, they've been doing a charity subathon, so maybe. Thank you, Fiends.
you too, if you want to head out, if you're heading out now and don't want to join the raid, which, you know, sometimes you don't, but. That's what you want to do. Ah, damn, they're off. All right, let's see, who do we have online? Yeah, sleep. Yeah. Yeah, they'll do that to you. Uh, I know. I used to used to drink, but I don't so much anymore. Let's see who we got. Who we got here? Okay. DJ is playing something called Death Mark. Um, see, anyone in my recommended? Yeah. And Gray's playing Dark Souls. We'll send it to DG, the link with Ghost. He is. He's a very chill guy, English streamer. Seems a bit mean sometimes when he's tired, but all all around he's fairly chill. Yeah, again, thank you for stopping by. I hopefully you get some rest. Hopefully I can too. And hmm, hope to swing by your stream. I know I followed you. And I did lurk for a bit. I think I passed out. I don't remember. Oh yeah, because it was one of my days off and I passed out. Last raid. Evening. Quint. Ghost. Make sure I got that right. Alrighty. Um, I was about to clap, but then you said you've been drinking, so I don't want to give you a uh, sonic boom through your headset. Uh. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, lurking, all that good stuff. If you guys are here in the archive or on YouTube, thank you for watching as well. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a follow or subscribing to be notified when there are more videos. If you want to catch me live, I normally stream every day except for Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting around 4 p.m. and ending around 4 a.m. It's currently 5, 4 to 6 a.m. So yeah, this dragged on a little bit longer than intended. But hey. You know, I had fun, we finished the game, and we can move on to the next one. So, yeah, that being said, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see y'all later. Maybe I'll come up with a raid message soon, but give DG some love. He, he's a chill uh, ghost VTuber, and uh, I hope to see y'all later. Bye-bye.